Okay, we've got a new toy. So obviously this is from China. And let's see what we got. Surprise. There we go. Excel van. User manual. Um, cable. So one USB, two mini USB. And this one is quite long. Yeah. Yeah quite long and the last bit this one clean blue sea flanger tremolo metal out and then power and channel mode In. Okay, two key power pair. Okay, let's try. Battery. Then. Hello guys. So I fiddle around with this um, wireless guitar system by Exelvan and trying to work my way uh, on how to use this so um, the manual it helped a bit but i think it's more of a hands-on uh, like myself i learn things when i'm uh, using it rather than reading from the manual Although it helps when you read it, you pick up things from from here rather than just discovering it by yourself. But not everything uh, is in the manual. So it came yesterday and then I did a bit of video as unboxing and then halfway through, it seems like uh, there's a problem with my unit but um, I just didn't realize that I need to fully charge it so I can um, use it properly so I charge it for a couple of hours and then I managed to test it after that but before that because it's um, having a power and then it keeps blinking so I thought it's still doing like um, it's still pairing and I will look on the manual about pairing and it says here on page 3 that um, pairing operation ID pairing so it says actually on the first part it says that there's no need to pair as there were match before the del delivery please turn off both rx or meaning the receiver and tx or the transmitter in case of they work abnor abnormally so it's really difficult to read this one as well how it's written how um, even sometimes the spelling then make the following operations so long press the power or channel button of the transmitter for more than five seconds and then led screen flashes it means pairing state that's the one that confuses me because my unit keeps flashing but i didn't realize it's flashing because it's low battery 
and then after few seconds it turns off without me realizing because I was busy and excited on how to use this unit but to cut the story short you don't need to pair it okay don't you worry about pairing it first thing you need to do when you receive your unit charge it when it's full bar the moment you turn it on it will pair automatically and then you can use it now how do we turn on it's here it's in the manual on how to turn on let's start off with the transmitter this is your transmitter okay where there's a preset clean bluesy flanger tremolo and metal so you've got five modes to choose from right this one here is your volume the signal of your guitar uh, goes here so that it will be sent to this one so this is your volume so if you're using a headphone this is the volume of your guitar they advise that you don't put this full blast in case you press the metal um, effects or the preset because it's a bit too loud and obviously your headset or earphones are connected so don't put this too high maybe in the middle and then adjust accordingly right so to turn the transmitter on is just a short press the uh, channel and the power button there and then short press there it is now we are on the channel 1 and you can see it's on clean so if you press the mode just short press it will just go around so from clean blue C to your flanger tremolo metal and back again okay then this one here is for the channel you're on channel one then two three four five six seven eight nine and back to zero i i just choose one and i think i'm happy with that channel at the moment right okay so short press to on and then if you keep pressing this it's the channel uh, button this one up here is your mode that will change that one then on the side you got earphones here it says um, out meaning going to your headset okay line out so if it's not your headset you can connect this to your um, mini amp this one here is for your charger this one mini USB okay to turn it off you press the power button here channel and power long press and then it will there, off now let's move on to the RX or the receiver so if this is the one that you'll be connecting to your amplifier and to turn it on there's the power button it's the one it's long press unlike the transmitter it's short press this one is long press so there we go that's BT meaning Bluetooth and when it's like that means it's already paired there's a separate button here if you want to pair a device so when you click that one the Bluetooth here will be blinking until you click your Bluetooth from your phone and when you connect to K380C and then you click that one and connect and then the light will be steady and it's paired each time you click pair it will disconnect to the device that is previously connected until 
another device will pair or connect to it and this will stop blinking okay happy with that right that's the bluetooth this one is your input it says there on the side in that's where this will uh, be useful it's like an uh, headset um, cable okay once you connect this your bluetooth will be uh, deactivated then the line will now the green light is there it's on the line meaning something is connected to the line in so this one can go to your, your mp3 player your um, phone and then your backing track or your music can go here and out going to your amp so you can jam along with this one so you got two options you got the bluetooth or the line okay happy with that now this one here is for the charger again so um, the first one is rx meaning uh, the receiver is con is connected or paired with the transmitter that one will activate if we turn this one on the transmitter there we go you got two lights now the bluetooth and the rx or the receiver meaning they are now matched paired whatever you call it and um, this volume or that uh, slider that's the volume of your backing track or something that you put in line here or the bluetooth that is connected then the next there so line next one is low that's an indicator when the battery is low and the other one is for the charger the, the, that last bit it turns red when it's charging then the light will turn off once it's full bar so two of them got it so this one's got it up here the receiver got it down here so it will turn red when you're charging it this is the charging lead so you need your phone charger and then connect this usb to your phone charger and it's got two so that you can connect one over this side and one over this side so you can charge both unit together via your phone charger and as i've said uh, the red light on the charger indicator will turn off automatically when it's full bar all right so far that's it on how to use this or to sort of um, once you open it unbox it i think that's the first thing you need to do charge it first so that it will work properly see you in a bit